Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly video update. My name is Naveen Agarwal and today I will demonstrate the Allume COVID-19 at home test. Now this test was the first one that FDA authorized for at home use. And it was super exciting news at that time. The first one, right? So I was very interested in learning more about it and I reviewed the information that FDA published on their website the clinical performance, the instructions for use. It's a rapid antigen test and everything looked pretty good. So I did a review video which you can find on my YouTube channel. But I always wanted to get my hands on this test to try it out in real life. I found this in my local CVS last week so here we are. So I'll do this demonstration uh, just to share the learning experience with you. And my hope is that if you have to do this test for yourself, your loved one or on children, you will find this experience that I'm sharing with you useful if you have any questions. So we'll go through step by step. And the first thing I want to start by telling you is make sure you read the instructions carefully. Now in this particular case, it comes with an app. That's what the box said and it's different from other tests. And the app will actually give you a information video which I have reviewed. It is pretty simple and straightforward. So you can do all that. Make sure you understand it really well. But we will we will do it together. So let's first see what we have in the box. You know, we open the box. We have uh, in this package. Do not do not take these out before you are about to do the test. Uh, this is analyzer. So we'll set it aside. This is a dropper. So again, we will set this aside. This one is a nasal swab, very important. We don't want to touch the tip of the swab at all. No contamination. So we'll keep it again like this. Do not open it. We have a bunch of uh, information here. Let's set this aside. And we have a nice leaflet that looks pretty simple. A quick start guide. A lot of nice pictures and easy instructions. But uh, they are also on the app. So you can keep it handy right here and this is also very important this is the reagent and uh, you can see it's sealed at the top do not open it yet so again again we will leave it here uh, one thing to emphasize before you start make sure you disinfect the working surface you wash your hands which i have already done uh, so everything is clean okay so now let's let's give our attention to the app basically this home screen is telling you start a new test and it gives you four sequential steps. Answer a few questions, watch the information video, perform the test, and find out your results. So uh, we'll answer a few questions here, which is privacy and terms. Uh, and again, this is all standard stuff. Uh, give your, uh, agree to the terms and continue. They, they should protect your privacy, especially under HIPAA rules, uh, because they need to protect your healthcare information. So continue. And it'll ask for uh, your personal information. So I'll fill that in uh, while we uh, get ready for the test. Okay, so uh, I've watched the video and now the app is ready for you to start the test. Uh, it has uh, a button called start instructions and we will start only after we are ready. So let's, let's open this up. Uh, this is our analyzer. So analyzer. Analyzer is a is a strip like this right here. It has this button that we need to push first to start connecting to the app via Bluetooth. But let's open everything first. This is our dropper. And it's just uh, um, giving this alarm for us to get ready. There's, there's no big deal here. So here is the dropper and Again, make sure that you handle it from, from the bottom here. It's just in packaging. We can throw the packaging. This will be opened last. That's a processing fluid. Now here is, is the swab. So again, do not touch the tip of the swab. So we're going to take this out. Do not let it fall on the floor. This is kind of tricky. So we're going to just be slow and take this out from here. We are not touching the tip. Now this portion at the top here 
is the child adapter. If you're using it on a child, this stays put because it just shortens the length, but you can pull it out. It's, it pulls out very easily and we can take it out like this. Okay, so, so we are ready. Now I'm gonna hit start instructions on my app. It says turn on analyzer. We're gonna press that button and see how close my phone is. One thing is, if a phone call comes during the test, you have to keep this on. Answer on speaker, do not disconnect it. So we're gonna press once. Now it has place analyzer within, the green light is flashing here, green LED. There's a Bluetooth icon next to it. I'm holding it in my hand because I don't want it to fall down. So uh, it's flashing. Now, analyzer between three inches of the phone, it is there. Next, hold down analyzer button until right starts to flash. Yes, it is flashing. And now it is a solid green and I get a check connected. So everything is connected. Light will turn green. Next, twist and pull the tab of processing fluid container. So we're gonna twist this tab. Make sure not to spill any liquid. Okay, and then we're just gonna drop it inside the dropper by squeezing it. Make sure you don't spill it anywhere. Okay, so again, we, we have done that, so we're gonna do next. Now, we have removed the child adapter. Next, insert the swab. So, we have to take it up the nostril until it hits the tip here, because then it'll be the right distance and we'll have to rotate three times, so we're gonna do that. First here, You have to do it quickly. Okay, that's good. And we did in both nostrils. Remember, you have to do it in both nostrils. Keep a, keep a tissue box handy. I'm gonna throw this here. Now next. Next is immediately screw the top here. This is very good feature because nothing is dropping anywhere and screw it as tightly as possible. Force is required to create a proper seal, otherwise you don't want it to leak out from this, right? So we did that. Now next, confirm swab is screwed as tightly as you can. So make sure you twist it a couple of more times. Done. Now open the flip top lid. The flip top lid is right here. So we're gonna open this and open it again. Don't, don't touch that tip with your, with your fingers at all. This is where the liquid is gonna come out. Now, Squeeze five drops of fluid into the sample port. Sample port is on this end and keep it vertical. So we're gonna very carefully do it. One, two, three, four, and five. I have to apply a lot of force, it's not easy. It's not easy, so you have to make sure you squeeze it in a controlled way. And I'm gonna turn it off. Run test. That's it. So it is analyzing. I don't wanna lift my phone up to show you, but there is something happening, a timer. Keep analyzer within three inches of phone on a flat surface until result is available. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna wait. Come back in five minutes. I'm going to be also watching on my uh, wristwatch and see where we are. So we are at the five minute mark right now. The timer is still going on my phone screen and I'll um, actually create another video which I will add to uh, this while it's running. I just don't want to move my phone. Uh, it's counting down. At the top it's analyzing. There's a Bluetooth icon which, is, which, which shows it's active. Uh, it's give you instructions, keep analyzer within three inches, so we are within three inches. Do not close the app. Answer calls on speaker, very important. Remember, make sure your phone is charged. It should have enough uh, power so that during the run, 15 minutes, your phone doesn't turn off. So uh, we are still watching and we'll come back in uh, about 10 minutes or so and see what happens.
Okay, so now there are about five minutes left. So we are 10 minutes into the test. The timer is still counting down. Everything seems to be working. The green LED on my reader is still solid green. Bluetooth is still connected. Everything is good. Luckily, we have not received any phone calls. But just to emphasize, if you receive a phone call, make sure you answer on the speaker phone. Make sure your battery is full and the phone remains within three inches of the reader. So uh, make sure you follow those steps. We don't want any interruption of this connectivity between the app and the reader. So we will come back and check in uh, 15 in um, another five minutes when the test is over and fingers crossed. We hope we get a negative result um, because I'm fully vaccinated and I don't expect this to be a positive result. So we'll come back and check in another uh, five minutes or so. So we have about 20 seconds left in the test. So far, everything seems to have gone well. We have not any, had any interruptions. The light is still solid green. The counter is still counting down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Your test is negative for COVID-19, just as we expected. So I'm gonna let it, let it focus a little bit. It just says it's negative. Now it says, please consult a healthcare professional if you develop symptoms. Consult a healthcare professionals if you develop symptoms or symptoms persist or become more severe. The healthcare professional may recommend a confirmatory test. If selected, your result has been emailed to you and saved in the app's test result. Okay, so let's say you have uh, symptoms and it comes negative. That will be quite confusing, right? The data shows this test is highly specific to SARS-CoV-2. If you have symptoms and it comes negative, in all likelihood, in all probability, it is something else. You need to talk to your doctor and maybe they will recommend another test. If you don't have symptoms and it comes positive, then again you are confused. Are you really positive or not? So they have done testing on asymptomatic people as well and they have over 90% positive agreement. And that doesn't mean that it'll always be trustworthy, but even if you are asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms, and if it comes positive, it is a good idea to take this result seriously, talk to your doctor, maybe do another test, maybe take precautions about self-isolation. So I hope this will make sense to you, uh, what your results mean in the context of your own history and your own symptoms or lack of symptoms should be a discussion between you and your doctor. Uh, as we have seen, the test seems to have worked well. It was pretty easy to do. And overall, uh, it was totally controlled by the app. I didn't have to read a color change in a line. Typically in a lateral flow assay like this, like a strip like this, uh, the liquid moves. Here, everything is moving inside. I don't see anything outside. There is no line to be seen by eye the app itself is communicating with the reader and giving you the result. I think that in itself is a pretty strong uh, technology and good feature that is very user friendly. But I want to hear from you. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have tried this test, what are your experiences? Uh, leave a comment or engage with me on LinkedIn. I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope all of you are keeping safe in uh, still these difficult circumstances.